welcome to my channel if you're watching me for the first time my name is Abby welcome to my channel again and thank you for stopping by if you haven't subscribed to my channel please kindly click the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell so you get notified whenever there's a new video on this channel and to my returning subscribers I love 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 you thank you ever so much for always coming back for always watching my videos for always interacting with me thank you so very much so today I want to talk to you about my weight loss journey yes I've been on a weight loss journey for a couple of months now and whoo it hasn't been the easiest thing to do oh you know when people talk about the easiest way is to not put on weight I actually believe it now because it's really really hard to get the weight off yet here we are so before I continue my gist right if you have noticed that I have lost weight thank you you know <laughs> but if you're looking at me so hard like uh, where's the weight you've lost yeah I just ate and please stop eating because I've lost weight thank you <laughs> so if you're Nigerian and you're Yoruba I am Nigerian and I'm Yoruba Right, and if you're Nigerian and you're Yoruba, you probably know this popular um Shino Bita song that says um figure eight, sequ sequ figure eight. So I'm not fig well eh, somehow shall I'm sure I figure eight somehow 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 or pre figure eight <laughs> yeah that's nice I'm pre figure eight but when I get to that figure eight where hmm it's not gonna be easy like I will be giving you left right center just to backtrack a bit, I had um, my second child, my son, two years ago. Actually, yeah, turning two on the 10th of May. So I had him two years ago and um, pre-pregnancy, I was actually a size eight pre-pregnancy. And um, I was size eight pre-pregnancy, but that pregnancy was really um, tough for me because I was dealing with um, grief at the time. My mom passed away just before I found out I was pregnant and that pregnancy, it was just hard Sha, in terms of um you know my my body it was just hard in terms of my body I, I mean pregnancy has always been very easy for me i had absolutely no complication no issue nothing i i was really fine but i put on quite a bit of weight actually much more than the first time that i had my daughter so that meant when i had my son i had um a lot of weight on and at that point I honestly couldn't be bothered about losing weight. I was like, you know what? I'm, I'm not doing this right now. I'm not ready to. I'm not doing this right now. I'm not ready to do this. And then, um, just in summary, I had to breastfeed my son exclusively for um, a year. Um, and not because I wanted to, but um, that was the circumstance at the time. It wasn't taking baby formula and all of that. So I really had no option that to exclusively breastfeed him. So I was quite. Um, so I was quite concerned that if I was actively trying to lose weight, you know, I wasn't probably going to be producing enough milk and I was just not there mentally, really, you know. And me having to breastfeed my baby was like my perfect excuse not to work on my weight at the time. So, um, we got to, so we moved to Canada when my son was about seven months, going to eight months, I think. And, um, I began the process of trying to win him. Anyways, eventually um, I weaned him off when it was um, a year and two months and then the stark reality of the amount of weight that I had on was staring at me right in the eye. It wasn't as though I was oblivious of the amount of weight that I had put on to be honest. I was quite, you know, physically, I was quite concerned for my look physically but mentally I was not there. I could not be bothered about doing anything. So I went my son off and I was like, okay, you know what, this is it, this is, it's, it's time, let's do this. So I spoke to um, my friend, um, Shion, shout out to you if you're watching. I know you watch anyway, if you like, don't watch. <laughs> I spoke to my friend Shion, who's um, really into all things wellness, weight loss and, you know, all that jazz. So I spoke to her and um, she actually wanted to go on a weight loss journey at the time, so it was really perfect. For us to motivate each other and sort of go through it together and um, the first thing that I did was intermittent fasting now um, intermittent fasting is just basically eating for a particular time during the day and not eat and, not, and going on without food for another amount of um, hours during the day it could very well span into several days several hours depending on your 
depending on your strength, right? Um, so initially I started with 16 hours and then I moved up to 18 hours and then 20 hours and then I went, um, I started doing 24 hours. Initially, I mean, eventually I got really used to the idea and then I upped my game to 36 hours, 48, 54 and you know, so on. So, um, with time it got really easy for me. Now, mind, now bear in mind that fasting hasn't ever been a problem for me. You know, uh, as a Christian, um, fasting wasn't a problem for me. I'm also, I grew up in the Apostolic Church and you know, we're really big on, we're really big on fasting and prayer. So I was already used to the concept and idea of fasting. However, um, fasting for the amount of time that I was fasting during my um, weight loss journey was something that I hadn't experienced so it took a bit of so it took a bit of time for me to get used to I think I had the first three weeks I was okay with this I was going ad core so much so that there was a time I actually did 120 hours I was super proud of myself right I was so proud of myself when I achieved that 120 hours now um, I continued on my um, intermittent fasting journey because it was working for me. I was seeing the results. It was really working for me, and I was happy. Especially, you know, my um, my tummy air. I was losing a lot. My 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 waist was shrinking. My tummy was shrinking. I was so excited and happy. Now um, that went on for about three months. I was really hardcore my intermittent fasting. I was really at core my intermittent fasting routine for three months and I lost a lot of weight. I was so happy. Now, um, later on, I took on more hours at work. So I had to be at work much more than I was initially. And um, I decided I could do this. I was initially concerned because I thought, ha, <laughs> you don't eat. <laughs> But eventually, I thought, ah, I can do it now. I'm at core. I'm a superwoman and all of that. So, there was a day at work, I was fasting, and I just felt dizzy automatically. I just felt dizzy all of a sudden. And I felt, am I going to survive? You know, I was questioning the fact that I was questioning. I was questioning if I was going to survive the entire day without eating. So when I remember the cost of ambulance service, I thought, ah, nah, but I'll get yourself some food. So I had to get myself some food to eat. And then it was around that time. It was around the time that I actually took a break from, you know, doing long, doing long periods of fasting and all of that. Now I decided to move on to dealing with um, what I actually consume, what I actually eat. And, um... It was quite a bit of a challenge for me because I cook a lot, you know, I have a husband, I have two kids, I cook a lot and it was just really hard for me not to eat the things that I cook, you know, so I decided I was going to um, now move from being selective about what I eat to actually eating anything that I could eat but, you know, dealing with portion control so that has really helped me. I have this um, small bowls at home that I used to. <laughs> to eat sometimes, you know, when I don't want to go overboard, and that has actually quite helped. Um, so another thing I was also doing was I was drinking a lot of water. Water became my best friend. I had this um, 1.8 liter um, bottle that I bought in a shop, and I would fill it up every morning. And before before 6 p.m., I would make sure that I had finished the entire bottle of water. You know that there was a meme that was quite popular at some point where they'll say um, the best way to mind your business is to drink a lot of water. And um, by the time you spend so much time going to the toilet, you wouldn't have time to mind anybody else's business, right? That is so true because I was going every minute, literally, I was going to the toilet like every five, ten minutes. It was really that deep. I was drinking a lot of water and I felt really, it helped because I felt lighter. You know, I was beginning to feel really lighter. Another thing that has helped me is exercise. And now, I don't mean any hardcore weightlifting. I don't go to the gym. I don't run. The main exercise that I've been getting, or that I've been that has worked for me so far, and um, that I've been consistent with is walking. If you know me very well, my very close friends know that I walk a lot. I can walk anywhere. Walking for me, it's not a problem. I get it from my mom. I walk a lot and I actually enjoy it. Thankfully, I get to walk a lot at work. So 
that has really really helped me and i have a fitbit that i wear on a daily basis my friend shout out to you Shil. my friend Shil got it for me for my last birthday gift and it's absolutely been the most thoughtful gift that i've received recently so it counts my steps for me i always wanted to make sure that i'm able to take minimum of ten thousand steps daily and so far so good i think the least amount of steps that i've recorded so far is about um six thousand plus and it was because i was home that day and i was really really tired i couldn't be bothered that day to be honest i didn't move around a lot um days that i'm not busy at work days that i'm not at work i go for walks in my neighborhood if i'm unable to go for walks in my neighborhood then i will be pacing around the house taking the staircase to and fro just making sure that you know i'm moving my body so that has that has helped me extremely going forward though i'm going to try to um i'm going to try to now include skipping and um maybe running during the summer um we're officially in spring now so um i'm gonna wait till summertime though and see if i can take on running but um for now i'm going to introduce skipping into my routine and hopefully that helps me you know that helps me further in um losing weight so um as at the time that i started my weight loss journey which was I, I I sort of took the decision I sort of took the decision to work on my body in June, right? But I was sort of dilly dallying and unsure of the methodologies I was gonna go with between June and July and then August I officially started um being intentional about losing weight and um at the point that I started I was hundred and three kg now um i am unable to check my weight as of today and that's because my skill doesn't work anymore i haven't got around to getting another skill and that's because i spent a lot of time obsessing about the skill um obsessing about checking my weight on the skill really and oftentimes i felt quite defeated you know when the skill wasn't moving and all of that yes there was a decrease you know in my body mass i felt lighter i looked lighter i had taken you know some measurements of you know the key parameters of my body and i could tell that you know the inches were dropping but i was so obsessed with this weight this skill you must move you know so when my skill stopped working i decided you know what that's it for an extended period of time i wasn't gonna I, I mean, I didn't have a skill anyway, so I, there was no way I could check my weight. So that's kind of like where I am right now. But um, probably next month, I'm going to decide to get a scale. And I'll do so. But as of, um, as of three months ago, when um, before, as of two months, there about, a little bit over two months, when my scale stopped working, I had lost 17 kg. So I'm sure right about now it should probably be almost 20 or even, maybe even more. I don't know. I feel so and I'm hoping so actually. So yes, I look better definitely. I mean, dare I say so myself. Actually, not dare I say so myself. I said what I said. I look better <laughs> and I feel better. You know, I feel so much lighter. Sometimes I can't believe that I put on that much weight you know because i've always been slim all my life you know so it wasn't a case of me being in between sizes and all of that i have never really gotten past uh being a uk size 12 and um, me even being uk size 12 is because probably my hips or my backside got broader <laughs> you know i'd always been you know a uk size 10 size between size 8 to size 10 all my life really so i've never been like a big person in terms of my body weight so it was quite shocking for me i think i was borderline size 18 you know as i had my son like i really put on that much weight because i i didn't care for what i was eating during pregnancy and even after pregnancy but yeah, as of today, I'm officially a UK size 12. <laughs> so yes, uh, but I'm not going to rest though until I get to a UK size 8. Now, I don't intend to remain a UK size 8 for the rest of my life, no. 
But I want to get to the UK size 8, right? There's just something that's going to do for my mental strength. I want to push myself that far. And then eventually now fill myself back up to a UK size 10 and maintain that size, right? So this journey is not over, far from over really. I feel like it's probably even getting tougher, you know, especially now that I'm not fasting and all of that. But I'm not giving up. It is what it is. I mean for the long haul. I'm absolutely determined to get there. So yes that's the gist about my weight loss journey so far if you have any comments or anything you want to share with me as regards to weight loss or your personal experiences with weight loss please leave a comment for me in the comment section and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please kindly subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in my next video thank you for watching